Okay, we are in year 1431, the fourth year of revolution, and we'll go for the first round as usual, elections. There is no pop elections as there are only there is only one cardinal. Now the king election can take place. The king to be elected he should receive at least three votes with simple majority, and uh, of these three votes should be at least one cardinal or two bishops or of course one pope. So who are who have these uh, terms the green player has one cardinal so he could cast his voice to a king also black player has two bishop and the yellow player has two bishop so now who are the candidates the candidate should be male lord uncaptured with a royal title this is the candidate so let's take a look in the Blue play, uh, a white player, Lord Francus, with title and um, uh, with title, he's a candidate. Muriel is not, Charles is not because he doesn't have a royal title. Othan not a candidate. Lambert is a candidate actually. Blanche, female title, Lord Terry, he has a clear, uh, church title. Jeanine cannot be. Isabel, no. Eric, a bishop. Philippe is a bishop, he cannot be a candidate. Eleanor, all the rest are not candidates. So we have only two candidates for king. Lord Lambert from the blue player. And Lord Francus from the white player. If you could see, the white and the black are allied. So they have in total four votes. One for Francus and one from Philip. He could cast a voice, Eric cast a voice, and Isabel cast a voice. But uh, also the green and the yeah, uh, the green and the yellow player doesn't have candidates, but they have the power to elect Lambert, as there is one cardinal here and two bishops with the yellow player. At first. The blue player played diplomacy token and started to convince Lord Lambert not to be a candidate. But apparently, this does not persuade Lord Lambert. He see himself as a king of France, so he played the diplomacy token, talking to the yellow player, convincing him to be to throw his vo votes for Lord Lambert, and the same goes for the yellow player. He played a diplomacy token to talk to his ally, the green player. And what happened is this. Uh, Lord Francus got only, here, you can't see it in the map, sorry. Lord Francus with title, uh, here. Uh, got uh, four votes only, two, one f f his voice and three from the black player. As he, you can see, he has three titled lords. But Lord Lambert, he has his own voice, number one. Blanche, here, number two. Terry, number three votes. Eleanor, number four. Also, Henry and Guavin, five and six. So, uh, Lambert got six tight uh, votes, including one cardinal and two bishops. So, he is already the king of France, grants him one victory point. And, of course, the queen of France is the wife of Lord Lambert, which is Lady Eleanor, she is the Queen of France. Uh, this negotiation takes place as the blue player convinced 
the yellow player that he will play this cardinal card for the yellow player so later on they could run for poke title that was the card that won Lord Lampard the king title now I believe uh, Lord Lampard played this card here made one of the bishop of the yellow player as uh, cardinal I think Lord Henry I will confirm later after the votes of the king took place now the card drawing phase will start interesting now the card phase every every player picked his card discarded his cards and there were three calamities the first calamity were heavy rain and it ruled bishop brick number five so in this area no movement could take place unless otherwise the second calamity also heavy rain and it ruled uh, number th bishop brick number three Again, this area nobody can move. The last calamity. Da, 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 da. It was the plague card and it ruled bishopric number three. There was a big drama here. So it landed also here. This bishopric is doomed for this round. Now we will take casualties. On a roll of one to three, the Lord is die. You should remove half of your armies. So here, the yellow player has four uh, units of knights. He loses two, and Lord Guavin rules, and unfortunately. He got one, so he died and he's out of the game. He lost with him the cardinal title, and this card is discarded. He lost with him the bishopric title for number four, which is here. It was really heavy hit. To the yellow player and Lord Govin is dead now regarding the black player he again lost half of his units wow he had plenty protecting protecting his city let's see he had one two three four five so he should lose two units he lets he lost two men of arms only and kept the three knights but his guards protected his lords as the all three lords threw the dice from one to three all of them survived and nobody died here so that was the black card or the plague card now it's the phase of the cards playing phase just to continue about the plague card of course we should take half of the population here and here and here but it's only one so rounded down is nothing and now we will continue to the playing card phase also another hint this alliance which is blue and pink now they have four victory points let's see about playing card phase uh, the black player he played a lord card another fourth lord card and he is now on his main city 
Now the pink, pink player will play this card to remove which is good weather to remove the bad weather in bishopric number five so he is trying apparently to conquer this region next is the yellow player turn the yellow player play this tax card and he is bishop henry bishop henry is currently the controller or the bishop uh, of the bishopric area number one so imagine he will t take all this mills income for him it's really interesting move next the white player the white player will play a good wither card uh, on his area here bishop brick number two next the blue player he is the king and what do you expect from the king more taxes on the people he can tax any ungoverned fief so we have only two fiefs which are ungoverned un uh, so we will tax this area and this area this fiefdom and this fiefdom I mean next is the green player turn he will be play another card of good weather in the special break so he could increase the income of his mill this turn now uh, the income phase let's calculate it together because I like calculating it okay it's the income phase I will tell you how I will calculate it but eventually I will give the same denry which was given in the forum please correct me if I did something wrong because I have some clarification about what happened during the game anyhow uh, as long as the black player is the first player so we'll start calculating his income uh, let's count the villages he has one two three villages okay we we'll put it on a side and he has two mills so another two a total of four this is now seven denary for the black player about the pink player let's see the pink player has one two three four villages let's put each income aside this is four denary for the villages and she is the queen according to the English rule book another two denary because she is the queen and we'll put uh, the income of the male aside because it, it will be taxed for denary for the male because she has two mil only this is the, top, the, the income six and this is the income from the mills we'll leave the yellow player for a while because he is taxing teething this fifth uh, this bishop break we'll go to the white player player a white player has one two three four five villages he will take five he has two mills will take four this is nine and he played a uh, good harvest so he will get additional two for one for each man this is the income of the white player now the blue player he is the king he also threw the tax on every ungoverned fiefdom 
So let's calculate first the income of the villages. Three. He has three villages, so he has three denarii in as income. And he taxed this fifth dam will get one, two, three, four, five, six. Six by two is twelve denarii. This is ten, eleven, twelve. Now we'll set aside the income of the mill because it's steep. He has one, two, three, four, four mills, a total of eight income. We'll put it aside. This is the mill income. Now the green player. The green player has one, two, three, four villages. And here, two income, another four. And he played good weather, so we will get... Oh, sorry, let me repeat. He has four villages, so we will get four dinner. One, two, three, four. Okay, and he has three mills, we'll get six. And he has two of these mills played a good weather, we'll get another two, one dinner for each mill. Now we'll calculate for the yellow player, it's really interesting. The yellow player controls one, two, three, four, five villages. First, we'll take five. Also, he has two mil, so he will take four. One, two, three, four, dinner. And now he will claim all the mill income in the bishop brick number one. So he will get from the pink player four dinner, and he will get from the blue player, oh my god, Eight dinner. Imagine uh, Lord Henry took money from King Lampard in the name of the church. So this is the total income of, lo of the yellow player. Let me count it at all uh, at once. So 10, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so let's give him this gold as being 20 and this is 21 income for uh, the yellow player I saw in the forum that they added for titles for the queen 3 denarii instead of 2 uh, maybe this is in the French rule and they added 5 income extra for the blue also included as a title maybe they got 5 being a king I'm not really aware of this uh, kindly leave a note about this income and from where it came from. However, now I will modify all the income according to the board geek. Thank you. Uh, I mean, according to the play forum here. So now we'll move on to the next phase, which is the purchase phase starting from the black player. Now the black player spends all his seven dinners to purchase two knights and one man of arm and he puts it in his only city with the other four lords it's too much here pink player convince or the queen Eleanor convinces the king Lampard to send her seven denarii in the English rule you should spend uh, a diplomacy token for that and you could give up to three apparently they are playing with the French rules uh, also now the purchase time for the pink player they spend uh, 12 to buy four knights and inst installed it here with Lord Quentin, apparently is wanting to crush this land. Also, spend two denarii to buy two sergeants in play.
Now is the purchase, purchase phase for the yellow, the rich yellow player. Let's see what did he bought, buy. The yellow player spent all the 20 golden dinner. First, he bought uh, the title of this fifth term by eight and purchased four knights by twelve. And Quavin has been granted the duchy. Where is Gwavin? I don't know. I believe uh, the yellow player didn't remove the dead lord. Anyhow, uh, let's see who will who will take this uh, title later. I will let you know. And where all the knights are installed. But I think he cannot. He can only put them on his main city here. Oh, sorry, correction. Apparently, Guavin didn't die in the plague. Um, I presumed he was dead. And he got the fifth uh, title. And all these four lords, uh, knights, are with him here in this capital. There will be a massacre here, apparently. Yeah, because they are still purchasing and purchasing. And here is. Lord Guavin back from the dead. <laughs> Sorry, apparently it's my mistake. Mm, and now it's the white player purchase turn. Let's see what he will get. Now the white player with his 12 denary, he will purchase, purchase a castle here. And two men of arm will put it in the same area. Next is the blue player. Let's see what, what he will do. The black player purchase also a castle. Uh, sorry, the, the blue player purchase a castle here. And uh, he purchase also Two men of arm, two, uh, sorry, two, uh, one knight with Lord Othin here. And now the green player, he purchases four knights, puts it here, and one man, two men of arm, puts it in this village. Everybody spends spent already his money, and now the movement phase will start. The rainy area of the black will prohibit prohibit him for any movement, so he will not move. This turn also, he has plenty of armies and lords in one city. Actually, he is stuck here for a while now. Now the movement of the pink player, let's see what he will do. The pink player start, uh, decided to launch a full attack with Lord Guinevere to this area and lady, this lady will come here with two men of arm. It is a battle apparently in this region. Now the yellow player movement, let's see what the yellow player will do decide to do. The white player with his two lords, uh, the yellow player decided not to move because here he is stuck with the heavy rain and he is settled here. So the white player decided to launch a full attack on the newly elected king, King Lampert. He takes everyone from here including one, two, Three knights, four men of arm, and one lady and one lord to the castle of Lampard. Here. 
it will be an interesting to see what will happen and now it is the green player turn let's see what will happen the last thing happens for the green player he decided to move his lady Blanche to this region taking with her two men of arm then leaving back to this tiny village now the battle will begin we have a major battle here and we have even a bigger battle with king of France in the upper north area let's see how it will went through okay the battle will take place now just to add that lady Muriel here uh, of the white player played a card and now she become the arc Muriel uh, dark which means that she is more powerful she can play uh, one more dice so two battles took place I will not go through the details of each battle but what happened basically that Lady Jeanine and her army was killed even though she was given the option of surrender but she preferred to die for her lands and now Jeanine removed from the game and Lord Quentin conquered that village regarding the battle in the north here what happened basically that Lampard was given the option of surrender however he continued the fight Lord Othin was uh, dead in the in the process and eventually Lord Lambert surrendered and taken captive by Mireille Dark and all his troops vanished they were massacred that was the two big battles the king now is in captive so the this is the ally of the blue player is going to that region forgetting that his ally and his king needs protection sorry I have to fix this camera okay now the next round let's see what will happen now I think you have grasped the game and how it work I will not uh, continue uh, the playthrough in details however I would like to continue uh, and mention the story what happened in the game basically the next election phase there were two cardinals and uh, the Pope were elected they elected Terry and Terry started to tax different bishoprics I believe he taxed a couple of them here and here and there I cannot remember later on the play card was played in bishopric number one here massacred all these people here in this bishopric uh, and uh, because of the teeth were played by the Pope the rivals a rival card was played and killed Lady Blanche and by this way this fiefdom title here transferred to Lord uh, Terry 
he is a bishop, cardinal, pope, and now holding a fiefdom. And the alliance was broke with the yellow once Lady Blanche is dead. And there was a couple of fights here and there. And now the next phase, let's see what happened in the next uh, turn. In the movement phase of that round and the battle phase, the pink player started to attack this village here, reaching to this village. And he captured these two. And the black player here, he has a big stack of army who killed the yellow player here in a, in a big bat battle. And they continued marching to try to conquer this village. But apparently, I'm not really sure because I'm not reading in details. Maybe, maybe they uh, sieged it. And I'm interested to show you this siege engine. <laughs> so it has a fifth symbol here, one and two. Mm, that was the battle phase. Then next, uh, what happened, uh, the pink player, the green player collapsed, the blue player collapsed, and eventually the black player was able to conquer this city and claimed the title from the yellow player, and they gathered a total the white, the black and the white, here is that the white is there, the black is there. The black and the white gathered a total of four victory points. The white from here crushed the king and defeated him. And the black here took the title from the yellow. They secured a total of four victory points. The pink, yes, achieved heroic measures in this land, but didn't secure any titles. And that was the game. Let me now conclude. To conclude, this is an interesting epic game. I like it a lot. I hope uh, all FIF fans will enjoy this extensive lengthy playthrough. Uh, this is an epic game. I would like to play it much often. I hope you enjoyed the video, especially the people who played the game. Kindly leave a comment about any rules, any addition, any, uh, if you would like to see more of this playthrough for the other games for the same game. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice FIFA games. Bye bye.